Hello folks, Gator, live from the camp. <laughs> uh, we're working on the the uh, outboard motor this morning. It's a Mercury uh, 40, 40 horse. I'll show you what we're after here. Hang on, I'm gonna, it may be a rough ride there. Okay, now you should be able to see this. See right here, right there, there's some wires. Uh, where did I put that little pump? Yeah, I'll go get the pump there. Yeah, just a second there. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. <coughs> See here? This is the little pump that drives at that end. That end. Uh, those of you who have been following me there, you've seen I had this at home. I repaired the there was a magnet there inside here that was uh, broken. I repaired that. And now, now we're going to put it back in the, the pump there. See, that goes inside and it drives a pump that's... Uh, hang on, I'll lower you see a little bit more. This here, right down to there. That's the base of the pump. And it puts oil in this cylinder here that raises up the motor but there's a process here so you gotta be patient <laughs> and I'll show you as I go okay anyways I'll set up there and I'll bring it back okay friends uh, I uh, <laughs> you can see the motor here there's connections on top here eh? they're like the slip in the uh, more or less automotive connections and uh, I got some uh, shrink sleeves one here and one here I'm gonna connect that hope I'm not blocking the view here I'm gonna connect this and then uh, uh, we're gonna shrink these <laughs> on there oops should have done this one first I'm gonna shrink these on there that more or less assures that uh, these aren't uh, shorting. <laughs> That's a heat gun. That's a heat gun, all right. <laughs> woo woo. Beautiful. That that prevents it from uh, from shorting. I'm gonna go get some tape there. I uh, think I got some. Don't have no 88, but uh, hang on, I'll be back. Okay, folks, uh, see this here? I don't know if you can see inside there. It's what you call a uh, Scotch 33. This is good uh, tape, black tape. There's Scotch 88. It's none of this uh, <laughs> two rolls for uh, 50 cent at uh, your Harbor Freight or, <laughs> or whatever dealer there. Because uh, when you need good tape, you need good tape. And this here, Made by Scotch and uh, it's 33 and it's, it stays sticky even if it's cold and uh, guaranteed to do the job. Another thing too, I had to uh, add tie wrapped this, uh, this motor because uh, it was falling all over the place there and uh, I didn't like that. So put that there and here never cut towards yourself you cut towards your friends <laughs> that's one for Steve Rob I always see him with his big knife there eh? I'm always afraid he's gonna stick himself <laughs> with it cuz uh oh my god he's uh <laughs> he's the man with the knife boy I'll tell you that 
Not to criticize or anything. <laughs> but uh, I bet you it'd be dangerous in a butcher shop. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'll put a little bit of tape on here just to protect it and I hope it slips in there because when I took it out it didn't have this much tape. So that's it. Hang on there. Well, maybe I can do this live there. I'm gonna show you. It's hard to film this. See, this is where we're going. Oh, you can't see it. Hang on, I'll change the position there. I know I'm in the way there. Hang on there. Don't get excited. Where is it? Right here. Can you see that? Right there. That's where that motor's going. Now, I'm gonna slip that in here. Yeah. Forgive my hands there. <clears throat> She's a tight one, boy. She's a tight one. Oh my god. Maybe I should not have put all that tape in there. Ooh. You see, I don't know. <laughs> uh -oh. Hang on, I'll turn you off. I'll take some tape off, I think. <laughs> Hello, friends. I get her. <laughs> We're at home right now. Uh, I know, uh, I forgot. <laughs> I was making a movie about this, uh, we call that little motor, the hydraulic motor that lifts the uh, the engine on the the pontoon there, the outboard. Uh, what do you call that? Anyway, <laughs> I was making, I repaired that, okay? Well, supposedly, but you never seen it because I never finished that. Well, it's all in the same video. But I had started, I was doing my motor on my truck. Now I had started, I had glued the, uh, the, the you call it fuel winding, it's not a winding, it's just a, a permanent magnet. These DC motors, the way they're built, is there's two permanent magnets and that's the armature. The fields cross from these permanent magnets into the armature. And, uh, okay, the interaction of the DC supply to the armature through the brushes. Anyways. It's not a electrical motor course here. It's just to say that these can be fixed. I recognize that I could have done a better job with the uh, video because uh, yeah, it just shows you something, but it doesn't really show you nothing. <laughs> anyway, I just want to finish this because uh, lo and behold, I installed that in the on the pump. I sealed it up. I. Uh, I did some heat shrink. I could have showed all that, but I didn't. And uh, after the fact, it happens to me quite often. It's just because I'm used to just gunning it, you know, doing the work and not thinking about it. But then after it's all done, I, I, I always say to myself, well, geez, I, I, I could have made a movie out of this. And a lot of people don't have expertise in this and uh, anything. <laughs> I can do mostly anything I want, but I could show it two way, and uh, this is what I'm lacking, the, uh, dis the discipline, that's what I'm lacking, of filming what I do. But anyway, I'm just going to try to explain. I put the motor in the pump housing, and uh, there's a little key at the bottom, and the motor slips on top, and I tried it. Uh, the only thing I have a problem with left now is uh, I have to open the, the call of the engine and there's a compartment, there's two relays, uh, up and the down uh, relays. Well, right now up is down and down is up. That happens. <laughs> okay, I got to elaborate a little bit. These DC motors, <laughs> when you take the brushes and you spin them, 180 degrees then your motor is going to turn in reverse it's no rocket science this stuff eh? so i must have had it 180 degrees i never marked like where the brushes were versus the magnets the polarity of the magnets or nothing i just took it apart but uh, i know how to fix that but normal people should mark 
the brushes and the armature so then when you go to replace it back you replace it at the same so you don't end up with, with something like I have which is nothing <laughs> all I gotta do is switch it at the relays I have the technology but a lot of people don't <laughs> anyways uh, I'm just uh, it's just to make an excuse for not fill, f finishing the video with my gab instead of showing you what I really did it's a success story. This motor, if I could have got it here in Canada, uh, it's very hard. I, had, I didn't find a place. I'm sure there is probably a used one available somewhere. But uh, in the States, I could have got it, but they don't ship to Canada. <laughs> so this happens a lot too, eh? So, uh, I don't know why. Well, it's because our friggin' shipping's too expensive, that's why. But uh, anyways, I fixed it. They, uh, they say uh, necessity is the mother of invention and uh, throughout my life, me, I don't want to teach to anyone here, but uh, a lot of times if people would try, they, you'll find that you can fix things. <laughs> and uh, me through my life at the beginning, I didn't have much money, so I'd fix it because that's the cheapest way there was. I've seen fixed things and it cost me more to fix it than it cost to buy a new one. You learn a little bit there too, eh? But anyways, I've blabbed enough there. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how long these movies should be before the people get sick and they pull a the plug on you, eh? <laughs> So, okay. I bet you it's all a good day and uh, I'll come back with another one. So, you stick in there. Don't give me no thumbs down. I don't like that. And on top of that, if you don't like it, just pull the plug on me or tell me what's wrong. I'll try to mend my ways. <laughs> okay, I salute you all. Bid you a good day. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>